Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. As you can see, I'm currently in a different spot than I normally film. I normally have quite a nice, neat background, but today is gonna to be slightly different. There's stuff everywhere where I currently film because we are doing a wardrobe declutter. I recently came across a video from Alison Bornstein, who is an incredible stylist. I follow her on like all her TikToks, her Instagram. She just gives the best styling tips. And basically this video, she did a sort of like wardrobe declutter or she calls it her closet editing system. She's got a book out where I think she probably does talk about this in a lot more detail, but I'm just going by what she did in her video because it was just very logical, it was very straightforward and it inspired me to actually get my butt in gear and do my own wardrobe declutter which I have been putting off for a really long time. You're gonna see some old, old pieces in this video. I was just really inspired by her method and I'm hoping that by doing it in this video, I can share the inspiration along, pass it along, you know? <laughs> by the way, this video is the second video in my kind of decluttering series. I just posted a video about items that I don't think you should ever declutter. I hope to kind of just give a bit of a different perspective about decluttering instead of just that blanket, like get rid of everything you haven't worn in a year. So give that a watch. Hopefully it gives you just, yeah, a different perspective on your wardrobe and on buying things that are a bit more seasonless and trendless. So let's turn you around and show you what we are working with. This is my wardrobe where most of my clothes are. I've got all my blazers, shirts, some trousers, more trousers and jeans, tops. Basically most of my like everyday clothes are in here. And then I've also got another cupboard downstairs where like all my coats are and stuff like that. And just a lot of clothes that I haven't cleared out in a long time. So to give you some background context on, you know, my life and what we're working with, I basically used to live in Sydney for four years. If you're new to my channel, you may not know this. I lived in Sydney for four years and I moved back to London two years ago. So the past like six or seven years, I feel like I've just been through quite a few life changes. And so, you know, in that time I've moved countries twice. I've had three jobs. I think it's three, three, three different jobs. I've just you know, I've grown up, my style has evolved. I also just want to add to this and say that I think I'm also a much different consumer now than I was six or seven years ago. You know, back then it was all about fast fashion and buying things for that season, buying a lot of trend-led things. Whereas nowadays I'm much more aware of trying to be more sustainable and buying better quality pieces and, buying things that will last in my wardrobe. And I think that is also a really key difference um, between then and now as well. <laughs> when I moved to Sydney, I just packed what I needed, left everything here as it was. And then four years later, I came back and it was still here. <laughs> So a lot of the pieces I bought before I moved to Sydney, then I moved away for four years, COVID happened. That obviously had a huge impact on everyone's personal style because so much of our lifestyle changed. So now I've come back and well, I actually came back about two years ago now. I've just really been putting off this declutter and now I am ready to get rid of a lot of these things that no longer, is just like no longer me, no longer, like it just doesn't feel right. Oh God. <laughs> Going back to Alison's closet editing system, I think even the fact that she calls it a closet editing system makes it sound less daunting than a wardrobe declutter. I don't know, is that just me? It just really helped mentally that she didn't call it a declutter. So her first step in her system is to go through your wardrobe and take out everything that you wear regularly. These might not be pieces that you love the most, but you literally just want pieces that you wear all the time. If you can't work out or can't sort of figure out what that might be, I think a good exercise could be to literally just write down everything you wear in two or three weeks, see which pieces come up the most. 
Obviously take seasonality into account. I think most of the pieces I've picked out are autumn wintery pieces because that's obviously the season that we're in at the moment. I would probably do this again, maybe at the end of summer because I want to go through the summer period and see which summer pieces I wear the most. I feel like the pieces I wear regularly don't really change from autumn, winter and spring. Maybe how I style them or how I layer them on top of each other, but I think the actual pieces are pretty similar and I would say the only season that has the most change is the summer season. So I went ahead and just picked out what I think I wear regularly. If you watch my channel, then you will definitely recognize a lot of these pieces. I've got my trench coat, I've got Got my long black tailored coat that I wear all the time, a black blazer, a black leather jacket. This is my kind of like minimal style one that I lean towards. Then I have a herringbone blazer, a white shirt, a blue shirt, a few knitwear pieces that I've been wearing a lot, and then t-shirts, tank tops, jeans. I wear a lot of jeans and a pair of black trousers. And I would say that that's a pretty accurate representation of pieces I wear regularly. You can see that they're in all quite like dark, neutral colors. That is what I wear. Seeing it all together like this helps because in the next step, when you take out pieces that you never wear, you can kind of compare it to what you wear regularly and see, you know, there's probably a reason why you never wear it. Maybe it's just not in a color palette that you normally reach for, or maybe you already have a piece very similar. So it's actually quite an interesting step, this first step. And it's also quite validating. I do say to myself that I like neutrals and things, and just so to see it all together like this is, yeah, kind of, it kind of validates what I think my style is. So after you've gone through and taken out all your regulars, step two is to go through your wardrobe and take out everything that you never ever wear. Pieces that you love but you never wear, it could be pieces that you purchased and you've never worn, pieces that you used to love and you never wear. And I've started doing it here. Most of these pieces are actually not from my main wardrobe. They're like already pieces that I knew I kind of don't wanna wear anymore. But I do think I've got a few more pieces in my wardrobe that I can go through and take out. Like this silk shirt I got from a sample sale in Sydney. I don't think I've ever worn this. <laughs> I've got some silk skirts, a green number, which definitely doesn't really fit into my neutral wardrobe, but I just love the idea of it. I've just never worn it. Another few silk skirts. This gold top that I've had for years and I never ever wear it. I think this is gonna come out. Occasion wear, I have occasion wearing here. So I've got two bridesmaids dresses that I wore the year before last. And they just, they're sitting in my main wardrobe, which I don't think they should. I'm gonna take these out. I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of them, but the point of the second step is not to think about that. You just wanna take out everything that you don't wear. So we're taking these out. Then I have some knit skirts that I've had for years. I never wear. This is actually from Forever 21. That is how old this is. I think this is like, a good 10 years old. And then another very similar one from Naked. This is also like very old. I definitely bought this before I went to Sydney. I have some lacy going out tops, things that I definitely do not wear anymore. And this is very like early 20s. Like look at this lacy crop top. I'm definitely never gonna wear this ever again. And I have a white one as well. Some more occasion wear, although I think this one I am gonna get rid of. I wore this for my 21st birthday, like that is how old this is. And I have some shirts. So this navy lily silk, silk shirt. I love it, but I never wear it. Then another silk shirt, this one from Equipment, which I love, or do I love it? I used to love it, but I never wear it. Like I haven't worn this in a really long time. And then, this amazing jacket, which actually used to belong to my mum. Look at this, look at the detail on this jacket. Look at those buttons, look at that lapel. <laughs> I love it, but I never wear it. It's also a very cinched in shape at the waist. I don't know if you can tell with me just holding it out, but I love it, 
but I never wear it. Okay, now I have a big pile of clothes <laughs> and this rail to sort through. Are we on the third step? Yeah, I think we're on the third step. The third step is to now categorize the nevers into three groups. So the first group is the no. It's just a hard no. We don't want to wear it, don't like it. It's uncomfortable or it makes me feel uncomfortable. Just things that you're never ever going to wear. I think that's probably the easiest group to categorize because you just pick out the hard no's. The second group is the not now. So these are pieces that maybe you don't wear, but you're still not ready to get rid of. You want to just take them out of your main wardrobe basically so that you're not seeing them all the time every day. You want to put them in a separate place. Alison suggests maybe like in a suitcase under your bed, basically in a different cupboard somewhere. So I'm gonna put these downstairs so that I don't have to look at them every day. At the end of the season or after, you know, maybe a period of time, you haven't thought about these pieces at all, then you can kind of reassess why you wanna hang on to them, even though you've put them away and you're not thinking about them. But if throughout the season you think, oh, actually that jumper that I've got in storage would look really nice with this outfit, then you can easily take it out. And that's one very simple way to shop your wardrobe. And the third category is the how. So those are pieces that we love, but we don't wear because we don't know how to style. Maybe they're just not pieces that naturally we can think about how to style and how to wear. So a lot of the pieces on the rail that I already picked out earlier, I know are going to be knows because I've already done a little bit of thinking but just to go through some of these pieces I don't know if you're interested this jacket let me take this out so this jacket is from Karen Millen which was a brand that used to be really good back in the day before they were acquired by Boohoo they used to have some really nice designs this being one of them um it's like a kind of trenchy coat trenchy <laughs> trenchy coat with these kind of like faux leather panels on them and the pockets are faux leather as well these panels we will talk about in a second because I went to the dry cleaner to get this cleaned before I moved to Sydney. There was like a black mark on it um, on one of these, one side, I don't, can't remember which side. I went to the dry cleaner to pick it up and the dry cleaner told me that he couldn't get rid of this black mark, whatever was on it. So he decided to sew <laughs> these two faux leather panels to match the faux leather on this jacket. And I remember just being like, what? Like being so confused that he would do this without asking me. I think I just paid for it. Um, I don't know why I paid because this is not a service like I wanted. And it kind of, I honestly think it kind of ruined the jacket. Like what? is this, what is this? But anyway, I ended up moving to Sydney not long after and I didn't take this with me. And I have other trench coats that I absolutely love now. I don't think I will wear this again. So this is gonna go. I don't know what to do about these panels. Shall I just take them off? I don't know. I have a polka dot dress from Reformation. This is too small for me on the bust. It's so tight, so this needs to go. This kind of army green shirt from Zara. I like the idea of it, but I think it's just a bit old looking. Like it looks very tatty. It's like not something I would wear now. Bomber jackets. I have two <laughs> that I need to get rid of because I never wear. This one is from Karen Millen, another Karen Millen piece. It's actually really nice, navy and black, but these sort of sporty pieces, like I love jackets, but I think bomber jackets are just not my thing. I much prefer a blazer <laughs> or a leather jacket. This kind of sporty, casual sporty thing is just, it's not me. And then I have this one from H&M as well, which I got on sale. I think I just bought this because it was on sale years ago. It was like 10 pounds or something. I don't think I've worn it once. So these need to go. This amazing leather jacket from Reese. I got this from a sample sale seven or eight years ago. I don't think I've ever worn it. I think I just bought this because it was such a good price at the sample sale. You know, I like leather jackets, but I actually don't like the fur collar. So I think this is going to go. It's real leather as well. Very weighty item. Amazing price, but I never wear it. I have this jumper, which I got from And Other Stories last year but I just don't like the color. I don't know why I bought this. I feel like this color sort of washes me out a bit. This jumper came in this color and a gray, 
and I thought, oh, I've already got a gray jumper, so let me get it in this color. But in hindsight, I should have just bought the gray, even though I have gray jumpers because I love the color gray, whereas this color is like, I don't know. But it's a really good, another like sort of really weighty piece. I'm pretty sure this is wool. Oh wow, it's actually 70% wool and 30% cashmere. So it is a really good jumper, but the color is just, it just doesn't do anything for me. This was a really bad purchase on my behalf. This cardigan, this is the Mia cardigan from Cezanne. This is one of the very first Cezanne pieces I bought like three years ago. I just don't think it's a color. It's my color. So I'm going to sell this and I think someone else can love this piece because it's a really nice piece. I just, the colors, just no. I have some super old pieces that are just way too small. So I have this cardigan from Massimo Duty. This dress from Helmut Lang is tiny. Um, I don't know if you can see that. It's so small. The things I used to wear when I went out in my 20s, I cannot wear this now. It's too tight and it's too small. A Zara coat. I don't even remember purchasing this. This is when I used to buy a lot of fast fashion pieces. I don't even remember buying this, so this has got to go. Levi's leather jacket. You know what? This is a great leather jacket. Did I say leather? Denim jacket. This is a great denim jacket, but the color is, it's like this kind of, it has this almost like yellowy tinge to it, which I just don't think I will wear. And I also have another denim jacket also from Levi's that I wear all the time. And I don't think I would wear this over that one. So this is gonna go. And then I have a couple of coats that I bought before I went to Sydney and I just don't think I'm going to wear. This one is from the Couples. It's actually a really nice coat. Actually, let me put it on. Oh my God, it's really small. How did I used to wear this? It's so tight. It's kind of like a military style coat, but it's just not really my thing anymore. Would I wear this over the coats I have now? I don't think so. I have this other coat from Sandro. This was probably the first like expensive coat that I bought. This is also about 10 years old. It's, it's a, it's not a bad coat. I just don't think I would wear this over the coats that I have now. So this is gonna go as well. For some not now pieces, I have this blazer also from Reese. This is also from the sample sale that I got that leather jacket from. I think this is gonna go in a not now because it's still a great blazer. You know, I love blazers, but the shape is not necessarily one that I would reach for now. It's quite slim, whereas the ones that I wear now are more sort of boxy, a little bit more oversized. This is very fitting. It's not a bad piece. It's just not a piece I will wear now. So this is definitely a not now piece. I think both of those silk shirts are gonna go into a how pile because I wanna figure out how I can dress them down for like every day. So that, where's my how pile? I don't know, over here. Uh, same with this jacket. Can I dress this down for every day or should this, is this like an occasion jacket? I don't know, it's gonna go in the how pile. These white jeans, I'm actually going to get rid of these because I cut them too short, which is a lesson on my part to cut slowly <laughs> because you can always take off length, but you can't put it back on. And I definitely cut these too short. The length is just, I just never ever wear these. And I have another pair of white jeans from Arquette, which I always wear. So this is a no. Skinny jeans. I think I am gonna keep one pair of skinny jeans in the uh, not now pile, because as we know, trends always cycle around and these might actually come in handy just to have one pair. I really like these pair. These are from weekday. These are also really old. I think they're like 10 years old. So I'm gonna keep these just to have, because you never know when a pair of skinny jeans might be handy. Next I have these two-tone jeans from Monkey. I think these are pretty cool actually. I'm gonna put these in the, in the how. I'm gonna put these in the how, try and put together some outfits bring these back to life. I've got a maxi length denim skirt, which I bought last spring. I love it, but I never wear it. So I think with spring coming up, maybe I can try and figure out 
some outfits to put together with this. Occasion wear, I've got two bridesmaids dresses that I wore <laughs> the year before last. I'm not gonna put these in the not now, but I am going to take them out of my main wardrobe because I don't need to see my occasion wear pieces every day. And I feel like part of this process is to get rid of those things that are distracting you so that you can focus on the things that you wear regularly. And I just don't need to see these every day, but I'm also not gonna get rid of them. So they're just gonna go in a separate place in a different cupboard downstairs. <laughs> these lacy tops are a hard no. And these gray knit skirts, I think are also a hard no. They're both quite tight fitting. And I just don't think that silhouette is for me anymore. Then I have this gold top also from Karen Millen. Like I said, Karen Millen used to have like quite nice things. I think I'm gonna put this in the how pile because I do still like it. I actually haven't, I haven't actually put this on in years, so it might not even fit me anymore, but I'm gonna put this in the how pile for now. Definitely wanna keep this. And this is a really nice shirt. I don't know why I never wear this, but yeah, it's worth trying to put some outfits together. Okay, I have three silk skirts. I think this one, this is from Realization Part. This was everywhere on social media back in like 2018. Oh my gosh, I saw it on everyone and I just loved it. I wanted it so badly and I got it. And don't get me wrong, I do love it. But because it was such a big trend at one point, I think I, I do still love it. I just think I'm going to put it in the not now pile because I don't want to bring it out just yet. I still want to give it a bit of time for that trend to be a little bit more forgotten. And then I think I will wear this again because this is still a great skirt. Next I have this green skirt, which I love the idea of, like I love slip skirts, but the color is just, you know, you saw my regulars, this color is, <laughs> so far from my regulars but again spring's coming up it might be worth trying to put together some outfits and then this skirt is from a nina bing i bought this during covid i've never ever worn it still has the tag on i think i got it because it was on a really good sale but it's too big for me it like sits really low on my waist maybe it's supposed to and that's just not how i like my things to fit if i've never had the urge to get this tailored then i'm probably never going to wear it all right so this is where we are at we have the no pile which is behind me very big pile i almost am a bit scared of thinking about what i need to do with these clothes then we have the not now pile which is pretty small i'm happy about that then we have the occasion wear pieces that i just wanted to take out of my wardrobe i can use the space that those pieces were in there's actually a few more pieces of occasion wear that i can take out um, and i can use that space for pieces that i wear every day and then we have the how to style pile. The next phase, no, the next step is called the revival. I really like how she calls it the revival. And it's basically taking the how to style pile and using your regulars. So these pieces right here, using your regulars to create outfits with the how to style pile, how to style pile. <laughs> I am a little bit worried that this video is getting very lengthy. So I'm actually going to save step four for the next video. So thank you so much for joining me on this wardrobe declutter. I hope that it helped in some way. So now I'm just gonna tidy up this mess around me and then we can get stuck in making new outfits with clothes we already have. And I'm very excited about that for the next video. So I will see you in part three. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you then.